Okay guys, I am going to be vlogging the next two weeks with this capsule wardrobe. I posted my capsule wardrobe video, I guess last week. So now I'm gonna take this mini capsule out for a spin. This is gonna be the first day, it's Friday and I didn't wanna wear jeans. So I am wearing the Tradlands jumpsuit. I just put the belt kind of like flat in front of me here instead of, usually I like tie it in a bow right here, but just trying out this look and then with my vegan leather jacket from Plenty and my orthopedic chic sneakers from Everlane. I really wanna to try to like stick to what I created because I really was able to create a whole bunch of outfits. So it really shows how far like a really well-structured base core wardrobe can take you. Some of these pieces that I did choose are a little bit out of my comfort zone when it comes to like color and style, but I think that's the whole point too. You really get to see what you like and what you don't. This is day one and I gotta go to work. Okay, this is day three. I forgot to vlog day two, but I'm just wearing the Everlane trousers. They're really oversized and breezy. Oh, I should probably put shoes on, hold on. Okay, there we go. So I put the agency blazer on my Organic Basics t-shirt and I just kind of have it like loosely tucked in for now. No belt today. The Everlane trousers and I actually did some switching so these are from Cougar Shoes. They are just like a really comfortable slip-on kind of deck shoe that I really have been enjoying. Like I've been wearing them whenever we have to like go, just go out quickly. I need something to slip on because I do spend a lot of my time like walking to work or standing. It's just gonna be a little easier than doing these guys. Ooh. So these are quite lovely from Everlane, but um, they're not a very good walking shoe and I don't want to like bring them with me in my bag. I made a swap early on and that's okay. That is something that I think can happen in your capsule. There are no rules, it's whatever works for you. I came to the realization that I'm not gonna walk anywhere in these. That is significant. So I made a comfy switch. Okay, don't mind my hair. I haven't done anything with that yet. I'm just on my way to work. I think this is day four. I decided to wear the linen pants. It's supposed to be hot this afternoon and this is the Tradlands top. I didn't want it to look too formal so I just decided to tie it in a knot and leave the front a little undone and then just rolling up the sleeves to make it a little more casual. I've got the Everlane sneakers on which are really comfortable and these pants I can't believe I don't wear them more like they're really nice really summery I think I'll like this look today the key will be how much I sweat in this shirt because I get really hot really fast so that's gonna be a thing have a good day It's Thursday, it's the last day before we go up north to the cottage. So I think actually this capsule has to be put on hold because it's just gonna be like lounge wear and comfies all weekend for me. So there's not gonna be any like real clothes that weekend. It's supposed to be really hot today. So I opted for this Tradlands jumpsuit. It is really comfortable, very lightweight. Like it really does feel like you're naked. It's very breezy. So that's why I went for it. And I actually made a shoe switch. So. I feel like I don't make good choices when I am building my capsule wardrobes when it comes with shoes. For me, I find I like to have the most variety in my footwear, I guess. So that's something to note for when I build my next one. With the white sneakers from Everlane, it felt a little too kind of clinical to have this like sky blue color with a white shoe that in my opinion is like orthopedic chic. I love those shoes, but all together I didn't really feel my best. So this feels a lot more me. Yeah, I really actually really like this a lot. It's kind of like really feminine and this like nice color with the high top chucks. That's super fun. 
and I need to make my bed. Well, hey guys, sorry to do this, but um, I had to cut this capsule wardrobe short and that is because we went straight into a heat wave and a lot of the pieces were sweaters and cardigans and a lot of layering pieces. It just got way too hot to wear a lot of the pieces that I chose. So yeah, unfortunately I had to cut it short, but this was actually a really great lesson in my kind of journey and experimentation with capsule wardrobes. If you are planning on doing a capsule wardrobe for a duration of time or a season, Season, and you know the potential of your weather then you can sort of adjust accordingly I built that capsule wardrobe as like a late spring early summer kind of capsule I really only ended up wearing that capsule wardrobe for about a week the most worn piece was definitely this blue Tradlands jumpsuit this thing came in clutch especially as the weather started to get really hot on me and another thing was that you saw me switch out my shoes quite early and that is because I think with shoes I really like to idealize what it is that I think I wanna wear compared to what I actually do end up wearing when push comes to shove when I'm getting dressed in the morning. So for me, I know I like sneakers, I like casual, comfortable shoes, and I haven't really gotten into the habit of wearing a walking shoe to work and then switching shoes when I am at work. So maybe that's something I might explore in the future. I think I don't mind outfit repeating, but it's in the shoe that I like to maybe switch things up and have a lot more variety. So that's also something to note when I do come up with my next capsule. Whenever I approach building a capsule wardrobe in the very few that I've done so far, I always really try to stick to the rules and try to stick to the ground rules as much as I possibly can. But then whenever I'm actually in the thick of it, getting dressed in the morning, making those decisions, maybe not feeling as disciplined or motivated as I was when I was building it in the first place, that's when I find I really falter and then I kind of just go, hmm. I'm gonna wear what I want. And I, I really did that a lot with the shoes. With the actual capsule itself, I did wear a lot of the lighter, more breezy pieces as the days went by, but it was in the shoes that I really wanted that variety. So I think that's something I'm going to pay attention to next time. I think I'm not going to put as many restrictions on myself when it comes to that. Whatever capsule you create is your own. Building a capsule wardrobe is just another strategy in order to try to get rotation and good use out of the pieces that you might not necessarily be wearing a lot of. I think it's a really great way to learn about your style, to just define your personal style a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it didn't really turn out the way I envisioned but that's life and I'm gonna keep going with this it's really fun and challenging and sometimes frustrating but it's all a learning and it's all just moving forward and getting to know our stuff piles a little bit better and it's also a way to minimize it so I hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you want to see more videos like this it really helps me out and don't forget to hit subscribe I would love to see you back and I'll see you in the next video